Okay, y'all, welcome back. Um, I was just a huge fan of my seven and seven, and so I think I want to rock out another one. So we're using Oracle Tarot or not Tarot, and we're going to do seven chakras in seven minutes. Okay, now that we've wasted almost a whole minute shuffling again. <laughs> oh, we have a flipper, growth. Okay, we keep getting growth and wisdom on the, on the sacral tonight. Your home is growing, your stability is growing. Could be finances. We have a flipper. Forgiveness at the sacral chakra. Okay. This is like oddly almost identical here. They're just a few rows down I feel like forgiveness has moved down the line tonight so emotional intelligence sacral chakra that's your creativity could be your sexuality and then at the solar plexus we've got bittersweet personal identity ego transformation okay I've also had that one tonight, moving down the line, moving down the line. We've had instinct again. You've got instinct at the heart, love, acceptance. And as I say, acceptance, the acceptance card popped out for the throat. But you've got instinct. Slow down a little bit. Instinct. Then you've got acceptance at the throat. You're accepting it. Maybe you're communicating it. You've got rejection at the third eye. You could be leaving something behind or you could be rejected. You could be forgiving that. Instinct and prayer at the crown. So maybe you're unsure still. Growth, forgiveness, bittersweet instinct acceptance rejection is your awareness intuition and maybe you're praying maybe you're praying you're wrong you're praying you're not being rejected let's see Bittersweet, I mean, could be one thing just to know, know it's over. If you're unsure, you've got transformation on growth. So I'm taking that as personal growth. Maybe you're emotionally growing. You could be forgiving yourself for your own past making amends with yourself this could be self-awareness love at forgiveness at the sacral could be self-love revelation on bittersweet can be freeing can be freeing leaving people, leaving your past identity. You've got guidance on instinct, so you know you're heading the right way. Your heart's in it. That's at the heart. Archangel Gabriel has come out twice now. So he's on acceptance. 
you're accepting your new fate or your past. You've got growth on rejection. So you could be growing and rejecting someone or you could be you could be rejected and then maybe this has put you into a transformation, you know, because then it goes back to transformation. Love could be self-love. Growth at the third eye and beauty on prayer, beauty at the crown. So... Sounds like you're in a great state of personal growth, really. You're transforming into your new self, maybe. New identity, new year, new me. Uh, you know, we're um, a few weeks in here on the New Year's resolutions. I'm behind on Dear Diary segments. Um... We might roll over, but I feel like we need an ending oracle. Let's hit the divine doors. I like it sometimes when they have, you know, it sounds like a new divine door is opening for you. So let's see. The sacred lotus. Let me get the door the right side up here. That's actually... Pretty cool looking. We can get it to focus. The sacred lotus. Compassion in action, the chosen tool. I see now the lotus in your spirit's jewel. All right. Yeah. Someone, someone out there is going through their transformationing transformationing, <laughs> transmuting that old crap, your, your new you, your new life. Um, that's awesome. 717 I just saw. Um, so I think that's really good luck. I'm hell. I'd like to claim this for my own. So I think I will as well. There is your seven and seven. Thank you. Um, please feel free to like, share, subscribe. Um, we appreciate you at the Divine Fool, where each and every day is a new opportunity for things to go wrong, and we will be here to transmute that. Thanks, guys. All for one and one for all.